I've had a lot of comments requesting that I do a durability test on the Sony Xperia Z5 Premium. It's actually one of the only phones on the market with a 4K 5.5 inch screen. As an added bonus, it is also water resistant. This is the top of the line phone from Sony right now, so let's see how it handles life. Like always, let's start with a scratch test. I have a set of picks that let me see where the screen falls on Mohs scale of hardness. Now, Sony has not bragged anywhere about having Gorilla Glass on their phone. All of the specs specifically say tempered glass. So it's interesting that it scores the exact same level of hardness that a normal Gorilla Glass screen would score. A level 6 leaves a mark on the screen, but a level 7 pick leaves a deeper groove. Hit that thumbs up button for the sweet reflective back on this phone. Now let's test the camera lens. This is always important to photographers and videographers, especially since this phone is rocking a huge 23 megapixel camera. Unfortunately, it looks like the lens is made out of plastic and is easily scratched. Even my level 3 pick can scrape it. This is exactly like the plastic camera lens on the BlackBerry Priv. As you can see, the lens sits pretty flush with the back panel of the phone. So if you ever set your phone down, it'll receive almost no protection from that little circular lip around the edge. Now that you know, those of you with this phone can avoid damage there in the future. It looks like the back of the phone is scratch resistant. No marks can be found underneath my razor blade. It is a huge collector of fingerprints though. The Sony logo is actually on the underside of the glass, so it is completely smooth on top. The sides of the phone are made of metal, but can still be scuffed up a little with razor blades and keys. Onto the burn test. The phone is still fully operational at this point. I apply a little flame to the 4K IPS LCD display. The pixels react pretty fast by turning off and going black, just like most other phones. But this one is a bit different. After turning black, the pixels cook and turn white in the center of the burn. As we've learned from other phones I've tested, black pixels recover while white pixels do not. And this phone has a combination of both. The heat leaves the phone pretty quickly and you can see that I'm able to touch the burned area directly within seconds. Let's jump into the bin test. The initial force of my hand snaps the sidebar right next to the power button, which seems to be a theme with bendable phones like the iPhone 6, HTC M9, and the Nexus 6P. That power button is just a weak spot for these phones. The phone is still fully functional at this point though. There is no catastrophic failure like the Nexus 6P. When I bend it back from the other side, the sidebars next to the SIM card slot break open. So yes, the phone does bend, not to destruction like the M9 or the 6P, but it is indeed broken. If they could make the phone a tad bit stronger and fix that camera lens, it would probably be one of my favorite phones right now. Thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed this video and want to watch all of the other major flagship phones tested in the future, make sure you're subscribed. I post behind the scenes stuff most regularly on Instagram and Twitter. Thanks for watching.